Up next, we have Fiona Lee with the only thing that vaginal laser burns is your cash. Menopause, the midlife milestone. We fear the hot flushes, mood swings, and the cracking dry skin. With the natural decline in estrogen, did you know that up to 60% of women will experience vaginal symptoms, including burning, itching, dryness, and painful sex? For many women, this can significantly impact their confidence, sexual enjoyment, and quality of life. With few treatment options available, a gap in the market was filled by energy-based treatments since 2012. One of these vaginal lasers called the Mona Lisa Touch was suggested to result in 100% improvement. Laser for the vagina? Rejuvenate your vagina to a premenopausal stage, they said, for the low, low price of $3,000 a year. My research investigates energy-based devices and attitudes towards menopause management. We performed the world's first randomized trial comparing active laser treatment to a placebo no energy treatment. These participants and researchers were blinded to the allocated treatment group. And this was the strongest possible trial methodology to provide the robust evidence for vaginal laser that was required. And it turns out, the only thing that laser burns is your cash. Our study found that there was no difference in any outcome after vaginal laser when compared to the no energy placebo treatment. There was some improvement in both groups after laser in, in, and the placebo in the most severe vaginal symptom as well as the overall vag vaginal symptoms. However, there was no difference in the amount of improvement, meaning that the laser was no better than the placebo. We also looked at vaginal skin cells under the microscope, but found that there was no difference in rejuvenation. In fact, we found very little change at all. So what's the problem? The problem is that women have been paying for a treatment for an entire decade that has been shown to have no benefit. Women have been exposed to potential harm, with some reports of vaginal laser causing severe scarring, burns, and chronic pain. Does this ring a bell? It should because this isn't the first time that vaginal treatments have led to issues in the past. Some of you may recall the pelvic mesh debacle, which led to those products being withdrawn from the market, but not before they caused massive problems. Our study findings have already changed guidelines in the United States, Canada, and on home turf, but these treatments should never have been commercially marketed in the first place. It is undeniable that there is a huge demand for better treatments, but we cannot let this and profits drive the market, and we should not keep making the same mistakes. Thank you. <laughs>